Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about OneDrive. This is a two-part series, so let's get to it. Understanding OneDrive and Cloud Storage. Cloud Storage refers to the storage that is offered online. Think of Cloud Storage as an external hard drive connected to your computer by the internet. Cloud Storage allows you to work on the same file through multiple devices. When you share files through a cloud service, multiple people can work on the same file and all the changes are managed or merged into one file that everyone has access to. This diagram shows how one file can be viewed on multiple computers through OneDrive. OneDrive is a Microsoft Cloud service that con uh, connects to all of the files that, uh, that it lets you store and protect your files, share them with others, share them, sorry about that, share them with others and get to them from anywhere on all your devices. There are two versions of OneDrive, OneDrive Personal and they have a business version also. A commercial product available to anyone with a Microsoft ID. This is, the, this is the OneDrive that you see when you open up Windows 10 on your computer. You're set up for it uh, when you log in with your Microsoft account and you'll find the storage available in File Explorer. In Microsoft computers, it's the default option for saving documents or files, which can help save space on your storage drive. Like many cloud storage services, you get several gigabytes for free. I think they give you four gig for free. And after that, you have to pay for it. OneDrive also makes it easy to sync and share information between your Windows uh, devices. OneDrive for Business, however, is OneDrive for Business is an online storage for work or school. On OneDrive for Business is managed by your organization and it lets you share and collaborate on work documents with uh, coworkers. OneDrive Personal and OneDrive for Business are not the same service. Every MCC student has a OneDrive for Business account. For the purpose of this class, we will be using the OneDrive for Business and not the OneDrive for Personal. If you're interested in finding it, if you look at number two up here, you're in my way. And if you look at the uh, little flag that shows number two, it shows uh, OneDrive. That's your OneDrive for Business. That's the one that you can click in. So open the web browser and navigate to my way. Uh, mccneb.edu, click on the OneDrive and select MCC user account. From there, you'll have to use your normal login. So use your login that has, the, um, has your email address on it and whatever password it is. Enter your email address and password and click the sign, sign in button. Once you get there, uh, it may not have these files in it because this was put in, but uh, you might have some files you might not, but that's easy enough to do. If you notice up at the top, there's an upload. That's where you would actually upload files that you've uh, created. You may sync OneDrive uh, personal or OneDrive for business with your computer. When you save files to OneDrive, they are stored in the cloud, but a version of each file is also stored on your computer's hard drive. If it synced, you can, uh, you can access these files from the floor, uh, file explorer or through the browser. Accessing files from the file explorer, click the file explorer on the taskbar, in the navigation pane, click OneDrive, and then double click on the folder to open it. If your computer is not synced to your OneDrive for business, you must use this method to create a new folder on the OneDrive site, on the OneDrive website. One, log into your OneDrive account. Two, navigate to the location where you want to create the folder. 
Three, click the New button at the top of the window and select Folder. Four, type the name of the folder or the, or the folder name box and click the uh, Create button. Once you've created that, now you have the ability to save that same file up to the cloud. When you save a file to OneDrive location, it is automatically uploaded to your OneDrive account and can be accessed via OneDrive website. To save the file to the OneDrive location with the file that you want to save open, complete the steps to save the file in a new location. In the Save As dialog, navigate to the OneDrive location if necessary. Open a folder under OneDrive to save the file in the folder. And if necessary, type a new name for the file in the file name box and click Save button. If you're on your computer that does not have a OneDrive installed on it, you can upload the files to OneDrive website. To upload the file using OneDrive, log into your OneDrive account, navigate to the location where you want to save the uploaded file, and three, at the top of the window, click the Upload button and select Files or Folder from the menu. Navigate to the location of the file or folder that you want to add to your OneDrive and select the file or folder. Click the Open button. And take note, the steps here describe uploading a file using Edge web browser. If you're using a different browser, the steps might vary slightly. All right, that brings us to the end of the first uh, set of slides. We have one more set that you can go through on part two. We'll get busy with that as soon as I can. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on part two.